We've told you plenty about that horrifying crime in Rockville, Maryland, where an 18-year-old illegal immigrant allegedly raped a 14-year-old girl in a bathroom of the school. And why wouldn't we tell you that? The crime isn't just awful in itself, it highlights the critical downsides of existing American immigration policy, and there are many. But for some mysterious reason, NBC, CBS, and ABC have not covered that story at all. But we're going to continue to cover it. Griff Jenkins is in Rockville tonight, and he joins us from there. Hey, Griff. Hey, Tucker, and there is news. Maryland took its first step to becoming a sanctuary state. The democratically controlled House of Delegates passed a bill that essentially bars state and local law enforcement from assisting federal officials when they are pursuing an illegal alien. The bill's chief sponsor is Delegate Marise Morales. She's from this area, Montgomery County. And while the school behind me, where that tragic rape occurred, allegedly occurred, is not in her district, many of her constituents do go and attend this school. So we traveled to Annapolis today to speak with her. Take a look. If anyone has been following the legislation that I put forth in the General Assembly, I have committed my life to survivors, victims of sexual assault. Um, unfortunately, in this country, we suffer from a rape culture. In this case, there was a crime. There was a rape. And the immigration status of a defendant has nothing to do with you know, the crime that was committed, and those individuals will, you know, should um, do their time in jail, and then if ICE wants to come in and, and deport them, that's absolutely fine. There's nothing in this bill that would preclude that from happening. But yet critics say, why would you not empower state and local law enforcement if it could help prevent situations like we've just seen occur uh, in Rockville? I reject the idea that if you are undocumented or if you're an immigrant or if you are a Muslim, you are therefore a criminal. And so when people make that statement, it's basically saying all immigrants, all undocumented immigrants are criminals. And actually, um, from the same study, Department of Justice, it showed the numbers that the number one race among rapists is actually 60% white. And that's not saying that white men are more likely to become rapists. It's just reflective of the population. Um, and so nothing that Montgomery County Public Schools could have done would have prevented this crime from happening. And Maryland's Republican Governor Larry Hogan took to Facebook to blast the bill, the passing of the bill, calling it outrageously irresponsible, saying that it will make Maryland a sanctuary city and endanger its citizens. Tucker? At the very least, the timing seems a little tone deaf, I would say. Griff, thanks a lot for that.